Hey guys, welcome to The Slumberyard, and in today's video we're taking a look at how the Avocado Green mattress compares to the Avocado Latex mattress. So these are obviously from the same brand and from the same family, but how do they compare and contrast? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. If you happen to enjoy this one, hit the thumbs up button, but without further ado, let's just get right into it. <music> All right, so before I get into everything that you need to know about these two beds as a brand, I do wanna say that Avocado did send us these mattresses for free to review and tell you guys about them. Now, in terms of policies, these are both gonna be basically the exact same. They're gonna to come to you completely free, free shipping. Then you'll have a year trial to test the beds out in the comfort of your own home. If you love them, a 25 year warranty and a return option if you don't. And if you need any more information about those policies, check down below in that description. But let's just jump right into this comparison and talk about the first bed, which is the Avocado Green Mattress. Now, this is one of our favorite beds and it's got a ton of certifications for how natural and organic it is. And we're not gonna go specifically into that. You can check out our full review if you wanna learn more about those. But in terms of this bed's construction, it's basically got coils on the bottom, then some latex foam, and then a pillow top layer, which is optional. And the whole thing's wrapped up in an organic cotton cover. Now, the pillow top layer is is optional and we would recommend most people go for that pillow top, but you can also add in the box top version and these will soften the beds up quite a bit. So the base level avocado green mattress with no pillow top is gonna be really firm, right at a proper firm on our firmness scale. So pretty much only great for strict back or stomach sleepers. But if you did add in that pillow top, add a lower it a bit, bringing it closer to that medium firm firmness. And if you add in that box top, it'll be right around a medium, so a bit softer again, but those will cost you a bit more money to add on, so know all that going in. You know, you're know, you gonna need some coin if you wanted that version right at a medium. In terms of motion isolation, the Avocado Green performs pretty well. It's not gonna be the absolute best in this department because the coils in combination with the latex foam aren't you know, gonna deaden motion totally, and I should mention that that's gonna be the feel of this mattress no matter which version you go with. It's gonna have a latex foam feel. So you're gonna sleep pretty much buoyant on top of the mattress, you're not gonna sink in a ton. It's gonna be really responsive, really springy, really bouncy. There's gonna be quick rebound time. You know, if you did like to jump on this bed, it'd probably work out pretty good. But you know, it's a great option for anyone who is maybe a combination sleeper who likes to change between sleeping positions at night and wants the bed to keep up with you. Now, before I talk about price, I'm gonna talk about the avocado latex bed. And this is gonna be basically pure latex. You know, it's not going to have any coils for support. It's just going to have latex foam layers. So it's going to be a really heavy bed right off the bat. And the bed's not going to have a ton of structure since latex foam is a pretty fluid material. You know, if you do want to move this bed around, it will kind of wiggle around on you. And that's because it doesn't have that layer of coils that's all kind of keeping it, you know, stationed in place. But that might move the needle for you, especially if you want something with that pure latex foam feel. So instead of having just one latex foam layer on top of coils, this bed has nine inches of Dunlop latex foam as its main layer of support and comfort. Above that, you have some natural wool and organic cotton, and the whole thing's wrapped up in an organic cotton cover as well. But basically, this is just one big old slab of latex foam. Now, since this bed doesn't have pocketed coils, we would recommend it for anyone below the 250 pound range. You know, we usually recommend anyone above that poundage should check out a bed with pocketed coils, just because they provide a lot more long-term support and durability for those bigger body types. But you still could get by on this bed if you so choose. Now, in terms of this bed's feel, it's basically gonna have that same latex latex foam feel as I talked about in the Avocado Green mattress, but it's gonna be a bit firmer. Now the firmness for the Avocado Latex mattress is right around a medium firm on our firmer scale, so it should work for all sleeper types, but it is a little bit on the firmer end of things. So since it is just latex on latex, when you push down, it will spring back into shape, but you might not be able to go as deep as with something with pocketed coils, so you might not get as much pressure relief, thus it's gonna be a firm latex foam feel. You know, once you sink into it to a certain point, it's not gonna go much deeper, and and unless you're a bit heavier, you know, you're pretty much just gonna max this thing out and feel that latex foam. Now, in terms of edge support and motion isolation, it won't perform as well as the Avocado Green mattress. It still is decent. Now, since it doesn't have that structure of pocketed coils keeping the edges in place, it's not gonna be as sturdy as that Avocado Green mattress, but it still should perform pretty well. You know, we don't foresee anyone falling off this bed, but you might be better getting close to that mattress if you're on the Avocado Green. Now, this bed also has a ton of certifications. Basically, they're gonna go 
blow for blow here and they're both gonna perform well in this department. But let's talk about price now. And this is one of the major differences between these two beds. So if you go with the avocado green mattress without the pillow top, you're looking at an MSRP for the queen size around the $2,000 mark. If you decided to add in that pillow top, it'll be closer to the $2,600 mark MSRP for that queen size. And if you add in that box top, that'll be right around the $3,300 mark for that queen size with the box top. This bed sometimes goes on discount and if we have any coupon codes, we'll have them linked down below so you can save some money with the avocado green mattress. Now jumping over to the avocado latex foam bed, this bed's basically gonna be at that $3,300 mark MSRP for the queen size basically year round. We don't really see this bed going on discount often and it's gonna be as expensive as that avocado green with the box top. So you have different options if you wanna save money, if also, you do wanna go the route of that avocado green, but if you want the avocado all latex bed, you're gonna be paying a pretty penny because latex foam is a more expensive material. But that is the short story when comparing these two beds. You know, if you wanted something that is purely latex, obviously check out the latex option. But you know, if you wanted some more choices, I would definitely steer you towards that avocado green. And if you wanted to save the most amount of money possible and you don't mind something being extra firm, just get the avocado green with no pillow top. But in terms of our final verdict, we would say, if you're looking for a natural and organic option, you could definitely check out either one of these beds. But if you wanted something with a hybrid latex foam feel, definitely check out that avocado green. And if maybe you're more of a back or stomach sleeper who wants something that's around a medium firm firmness, check out that avocado all latex bed. But that's just what we think over here at the slumber yard. You know, what do you guys think? Do you like avocado as a brand? And would you like to see us compare more of these beds? Write us down below in the comments. And if you happen to enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you need any more information about any of the beds we've ever reviewed, you know, always check out the description box on our videos or feel free to subscribe to the slumber yard for so much more. But that's gonna do it for this one. I'm Wes wishing you a good night's sleep.